Hello, this is Mike Lyler from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the second part of creating an image for billboarding in 3ds Max. And now that we've created our image in 3ds Max and saved it, we need to photo process it. And uh, you can do this now in Photoshop, or here's a free one, that's GIMP. Let's do it in GIMP, just for the fun of it. So I'm in GIMP, I'm going to go ahead and open up the image that I created in 3ds Max. We're going to navigate to the appropriate image on the desktop. Here's a sphere test, that was it. And we now have our image open in GIMP, and you can see immediately that it's just basically, you know, got all this transparency area around here. You don't want that. You want to shrink that down, crop it down. You can do that very easily in GIMP. You just come along here and go uh, image auto crop and you've cropped your image. But it's not the right size. We want to make sure it's a little smaller. You don't want more image than you need. So we can come along here and do a little bit more processing in GIMP with its tools. We're going to use a basic a shrink, I believe, or scale tool. Let's click on that. Let's click on our image. We're going to drag along here. And you get this little toolbar here. We're going to bring it down to 32 by 32 because that's bitmap. That's a mitmapped, right? A multiple of two. So we'll change it to 32. by 32. Now you could use this lock and, and scale them both proportionally. Hit scale and there's our image. We're going to auto crop one more time. And now our image is ready to go into uh, Flash. Let's go ahead and save this image though. File, save as. We want to make sure it's a ping. Yes it is. And we'll just go ahead and save over that real quick. And you can't see my save button. It's out of the screen here, but it's just below here. Believe me, I clicked on save. And do I want to replace it? Yes. And of course, I don't want to use the background. I just want transparency. Hit save. And I've saved my image. And now we're ready to bring that into Flash and see how it looks. So we're in Macromedia Flash right now. We actually want to put that particle in our library and give it a, an instance name so we can bring it out onto the uh, stage. So let's go and do that. Let's just open up the library window library and here's our library you see we already have a particle in there my sphere and if we right click on that there's that gold sphere we saw earlier and here's my linkage right here my sphere and that's what I'm using to bring that into the program so let's put another uh, particle out there on the stage and give it another name and bring that into my code so we'll come along here and we're just going to import this new uh, image into our library so I go file import and import to library so you want to navigate to your new particle let's do that I hit thumbnail so I can see them visually and there's my little silver particle so I can click on that and I have it in there but it's not a uh, movie clip I need to turn it into a movie clip let's turn it into a movie clip so I just hit this uh, insert new movie clip a new symbol We'll just call it uh, New Sphere. And I'm just going to drag my s s New Sphere right out onto the screen. And I'll center it. There you go. And now you've done what you need to do. So you can actually just get out of this. And if you look back in the library, you do now have a New Sphere. Let's bring our library back up. But you need to give it an instance name. So let's go and do that. We'll go right click. We'll go linkage. And we'll click on export for action script. And we'll just give it a new name. I can just stick with new sphere. Or I can put another name in there if I want. We'll just stick, we'll stick with new sphere. We'll hit OK. And now I need to put that into my program. Hit OK on that as well as it generated the action script for it. And what I need to do now is take a look at the code. And then I can run the program. So let's bring up the code piece real quick. We're done with our library. The main code for this is an action script file called main billboard. Double click on that and bring that up in Flash. And in the main billboard, we actually bring this onto we actually bring this uh, spherical looking particle onto our uh, plane. And the way we do that is with the movie asset particle material. So come along here and we see my sphere is there. We're going to just put new sphere. And then we're going to save this. 
and we're going to run the program and cross our fingers and hope that everything works. So go back to the uh, billboarding program and control test the movie. And lo and behold, guess what? You now have those silver particles that you created. And I know there seems like there was a lot of work to make this happen, and this is actually two videos long. Isn't that something? But the fact is, it's a simple process, but not knowing how to do it could keep you from making some really fantastic stuff. And we want you to be able to make that, you know, that great looking stuff on the web that everyone goes, wow. And you may be a great programmer in paper vision, but it's not enough. You gotta become a little bit of a graphic designer. And I hope this helps you out. You're gonna be using 3ds Max a lot with paper vision, so go ahead and learn it now and get used to working in that environment. Oh, well, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.